Hello everyone, um, if you're just tuning in now to the Let's Play Ride and Seek page, I am Natalie and Abigail, my wife, and today we wanted to talk about why we chose van life. Um, obviously we could give a million reasons as to why, there are a lot of amazing reasons, but we chose five points to talk about to really give you an idea of the basic core reasons. For us, personally. Personally, yeah. and probably for you too. Point one being craving change. Mm. We felt it was time to quit the nine to five. Um, I say using these because Natalie worked pretty much what 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Yeah. I worked <laughs> two or three jobs. Nine to five on um, steroids. <laughs> Wanted to stop that. So we were pretty much working nonstop. And Living for thank God it's Friday. Yeah. TGIF. And that's and that that was growing old and growing monotonous and we were craving a change. Number two, debt-free home. So, debt-free home meaning we don't have a mortgage. Are you kidding? A definite reason that we chose van life and why we chose to get a used van that we could build out ourselves because we're not making payments on a new van purchase, which is, I mean, that's huge. You're taking rent totally out of the equation. You're taking, taking car payments totally out of the equation. So that leaves a lot more room for spending money on experiences and not things. Number three, desire to travel. Desire to travel. We both love, love to places. travel. We love going places. We love seeing new things. I want to see new things. We want to see new things. We want to also see the places we've seen in postcards and pictures and Correct. films. Like Yosemite. I don't want to see a painting of Yosemite. I want to go to Yosemite. We'll go there. So that's what we did. We went there. All right. You know what's also pretty cool about traveling? Discovering places you've never even heard about. Stumbling upon places. S stumbling. That's it's pretty word. crazy when you stumble upon a national park that you'd never heard of. Mm. Uh, a park with like rich volcanic history, snow-capped mountains, and lush fields of yellow flowers, and we had no idea this place existed. And it was one of the most amazing places that we've gone to mm. yet. Lassen yeah. National Park.
Point four, bringing our dogs with us on Come adventures. Come on, little babes. Right after we got married, we almost made the decision to go backpacking in Southeast Asia um, for a couple of months, but that wasn't realistic because we have our dogs. We weren't going to leave them with somebody, and we want to be able to do that with them. So, you know, it wasn't feasible to take them with us, so we decided to explore our own country first and see the U.S., and van life was a way for us to have our babies with us along for the ride. So since we decided to stay in the U.S., we thought we would show you a couple clips of what life is like with our babies on the road. Number five, personal growth. So if any of you follow our Instagram, um, you know that I write all the material and I'm quite the philosopher. So, you know, I guess my thing with personal growth is, you know, a narrow mind is only possible if given narrow corridors to walk through. And the idea of travel is to expand what I knew as a child and what I knew from experience that I've already had and go see other things and, uh, and meet other people and go to other places that are going to get me out of the idea of what I think I know about the whole world. They say beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I have beauty for you in my eyes. Get a I second love, massage. I love her so much. <laughs> Sorry. Personal growth for me as an artist is huge. Without it, I would lose my sense of creativity. Um, van life has really provided me with inspiration. I get the chance to wake up to new landscapes and new experiences every day. And it just makes me so inspired. But it's also about the growth of our relationship. You know, seeing each other witness these hmm. new experiences <laughs> is brings another level to our relationship like, like seeing a freaking whale yeah that <laughs> i saw a whale for the first time mm -hmm. and i uh was setting up to do yoga and on the shore and i looked up and a whale just jumped out of his beautiful blanket of blue and said hello to me that was pretty crazy it's moments like that that makes your heart just pound and yeah we just look at each other without words, I think. And know we're in the midst of something truly life-changing. Abby, you're a poet too. Did you know that? Damn. Usually I leave the words to her. <laughs> you cook well and you know how to poet. Dang! You're a keeper, I think. I think I'll keep you.
So that's it. That's our top five reasons for why we chose van life. We crave change. Debt free home. Desire for travel. Bring your dogs with you on the trip. Come on now. And personal growth. Personal growth, baby. That's what it's about. That's what life's about. So if you're down with it, like and subscribe. And we'll keep making videos for you to see. Peace. That was good. Hello. Hi. <laughs>